Well folks, I'm recording this on the 16th of October. The trout season is well and truly over now, and has been for a week or two. As usually happens, I didn't get out on the closing day. Once again, my intentions to shoot some video on the local river were thwarted by atrocious weather and the gale I could barely stand up in, let alone cast in. So rather than just disappear until next March, I thought I'd do a compilation of some clips from videos of the season past, as well as let you know what might be happening if all goes well. Some of these clips you'll have seen before, and some have not been published at all. My mate Alex and I are currently trying to plan a trip to New Zealand in early 2023, but there are some problems with this, including massively spiralling costs and a lack of flight availability. Covid, I'm afraid, has left scars on people, families and industry alike. Anyway, we shall see what transpires and if we do manage to get there, I'll try to record some Kiwi videos Scottish style. So the first clips you are watching right now are of this lovely hill loch that lies right on the border between Perthshire and the glorious county of Angus. I wasn't fishing this time, I just went for a walk with a camera and drone. It's been about 10 years since I last fished this loch, strangely because back in the day it was one of my regular venues. Back then I guess I did a lot more loch fishing than I do now. Anyway, it was great to be back, even if it is a bit of a hike and a climb to get here and me not getting any younger. It's a lovely place, but it has the world's worst and most unstable boat. Well, at least it did. The estate may have replaced it. I couldn't tell because when I arrived, the boat was out and was down at the other end of the loch. The angler stayed there and I stayed at my end, having we no wish to disturb his fishing or to film him without consent. The distant boat did stray into the picture once or twice, but it was removed by the magic of video editing. I'm already planning a few trips here for next season. It's a fine loch and as good as any other in Scotland. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Well, what do you know? I just changed over a dry fly and I just flicked, <laughs> just flicked it on the water to see how well, it was how well it would float and this fish took it. Isn't that bizarre? Totally bizarre, absolutely nothing rising anywhere. As I say, I just rigged up with a dry fly with the intention of just just watching the water for a while. So I flicked it on the surface to see how well it was floating and a fish took it. How weird is that? Of course, I don't have my landing net, it's up in the bank. This is, could be a bit of a pantomime. And now, a good chance I'm going to fall in here. Oh yeah, it's a lovely fish. Absolute stonker. Oh, 
chance to check up my new win it. Two and a quarter of pounds. So there you go, first fish of the season. How's that for a fish? Not bad for a wee stream, eh? Back you go. That really was a complete pantomime. Just to recap how that happened. I was just sitting watching the water on the side of right. I'm going to rig up by the rye fly in case a rye starts. Flick the fly on, <laughs> flick the fly on the dead water to see how it was floating and a fish took it. <laughs> oh, what a, I didn't even have my rucksack on the back or my landing net for anything. I was just sort of relaxing. A fish was the last thing I was expecting there. And it just goes to show it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> You can use all the stealth tactics you wish. Matching hatches and creeping along banks looking for risers. But at the end of the day, you just can't beat pure dumb luck. <laughs> that was incredible. It was astonishing I managed to land that to be honest with you. So, Crosswind here, unfortunately, it's gonna whip the flies across to my left. But the road casts nicely. It's gone. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a comedy. That fish just really just dimpled the surface. It took the fly. I better get it away out of that log jam over there. It's come out. Only maybe need the net for this one. of a fish. A net under it. Oh yeah, it's a belter. That's a, an absolute smacker of a fish for this river. Two 
and a half pounds. So there we go. Absolutely stunning condition. Two and a half pounds, that's way above average for the fish in here. So I hope you can see that okay. I was kind of lucky to get that in there because it went straight under that log jam on the other side. Well now, I might as well just go home. Because there's no way I'm going to better that today. Incidentally, if you're wondering where this tyre comes from, there's no garage or anything around here who dumps their stuff. That used to be attached to that blue rope hanging to the tree there. The local, the local kids used to come down here and swing on it. And obviously, it must have broken off one day. It's pretty much embedded in the bottom there now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, it doesn't look very nice, but it's not doing any harm. I'll we'll have a few more casts in here, but my goodness, I was lucky to get that fish in, fish in there. It was twice it was under that log jam. I couldn't stop it running under. My five pound tip it on. Didn't leave much room for margin for error. But I got it out. But I'm beginning to remember how much I hate fishing with sinking lines. <laughs> If you're wondering what that annoying creaking noise is, it's this waterproof jacket. <laughs> Every time I move it creaks. Driving me nuts. I'm going to nip up to the car, switch off for a minute, nip up to the car and change this line because I am not enjoying fishing with it at all. It's horrible. Changed to a real gold floor. Well, just just when I was reeling in there to go and change the line, I got a fish. But it's a slightly better one than the last one. And it's on the Dunkeld. It's putting up a heck of a fight and it's not very big. Of course I don't have a landing net with me. Yeah, it's not a bad, little bad big fish. There we go, yeah, that's a nice one. Ten inches maybe. Back you go then. Right, I'm still gonna go and change the line. Because I'm really not enjoying fishing with this at all. Oh, another touch. I'm going here. Whoa! That was a surface stake. I didn't feel it. It just slashed at the fly. I 
wind seems to have dropped a wee bit now. It's not any warmer. Oh, that was a nice take. Just another wee one. And that's on the pearly black panel. Bonny we fish, but the emphasis being on we. So. That aircraft moved away. Thank goodness it was getting a bit painful on the ears. Whoa, there we go. Surface take. Feisty wee trout. Oh, I can hear a cuckoo. Cuckooing on the other side there somewhere. Yeah, it's a good fight for a wee fish. <coughs> on the trusty old Dunkeld. Thin, but decent enough trout. Yeah, pleased with that. Back you go. Yeah, the cuckoos are in fine voice. I don't know if you can hear that. It's quite faint. Putting the fear of death in all the meadow puppets in the area. Oh, there's another fish. Another surface stick. God, they are feisty wee things, aren't they? A really golden fish, this one. A wee thing, and a fish just throws out there. It's up for a golden trout, and it didn't kill again, and back you go. Well, I'm down at the water side, and it looks all very familiar. This bit certainly hasn't changed much in 10 years. 
no sign of any fish rising, so I've rigged up with a couple of nymphs, but I've got a, a few helpers, assistants with me today. This chap here, and his two buddies, black and white buddies, further across the field. Oh, did I startle you there? I'm sorry. And to be honest with you, this one's a bit of a pest. They keep, every time I reach in a pocket to take out a fly box or something, Oh, it seems to think he's going to, go, going to get some kind of treat, some sugar cube or something. And he nudges even closer. That's a Shetland pony, isn't it? Anyway, I've got nothing for you, so you might as well just go away. I don't want to hook you on the back cast. Mind you, that mane looks like it's got some good potential for streamers. <laughs> right, I'm going to start with the nymphs in here and see how we got on. It's very, very windy. But at least it's upstream. Oh, it's a text of something coming in on the phone which will be getting ignored. I thought I just saw a fish rise over there. A wee one. Yep, I'm pretty sure that was a fish rose across the other side there. Maybe the dry fly is in order. It's not great nymph in water, this. <coughs> there we go. I was going to say, it's not great nymph in water. There's pocket water further upstream. Not a bad wee fish, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad, it's not a bad wee fish for this river. Half a pound, Ooh, that's it back. Well folks, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this clip compilation. I'll try to keep you up to date on what's happening, so if you've stuck with me this long, then thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one whenever that may be. Bye for now.